Hello and welcome back again to Lesson 6 in my tutorial series of writing a simple iPhone app using a SQLite database. Um, I want to now dive right into um, what we need to do to get data from the database. The approach I've taken here is to get data from the database and it's a little clean and I have all my database operations in the contact class. I've declared a class method called contact class which is responsible to get the data from the database and fill in the contact array which is declared in the application delegate object. So here's how the uh, header file looks um, for the contact class. So you see I'm bringing back in the primary key contact ID, contact name, contact ID again I'm bringing it back as a string so that it's easier for me to join it to the transaction table with our one to many relationship I also bring back date of birth, height, and gender. So from there, um, if we jump on over to the uh, contact method, I'll jump right into going into showing you how I do the select statement to bring back all those columns. Uh, the select ID again is the primary key, and I, I want to point out here what I'm doing with this case statement. For It's good habit to get into any of your um, columns that you're retrieving to check to see if the value is null. Is null does not mean the value is blank or space, it means there's no value in that column and a lot of times having a null value in a column will cause your application to uh, fail or crash. So what I do in, to prevent that, I check each column and if it's null I then bring I, I uh, default to blank for text else I use what is in the value in the column name name and this is just the column name in the select statement so again if the uh, name is null fill it with a blank return blank else return what's in the actual database and for the select statement give it a header name of name and then as you can see I bring back all the other columns the same way and then I also bring back the contact ID again which is this column I can bring back that column as many times as I want to in the select statement and I'm doing a I'm bringing back all the rows within the contact table because there is no where predicate uh, meaning that I don't have it set to where there's a filter and I order by the name so again you know we're calling this get initial display data display method it gets the data from the database and creates a contact objects using the init with primary key method and fills the objects in the contact array which is declared in the SQL app it's which is declared in the app delegate init primary with key method is uh, very simple and it again looks like this we reviewed that briefly in the previous class so it gets called right there at the beginning um, of the app of the I'm sorry of the uh, method of the uh, method and then we go in and we get in get the initial data display method we first get a reference to the application delegate because that is where the contact array is declared. We open the database using SQLite3 open method, which takes the database path and a database object. The database object is declared as a static in the contact.m file. After we open the connection to the database, we create a select statement, and if that returns a SQLite OK, we execute the select statement using the SQLite3 step method, which will return a SQLite row. If the operation is a, is a success, and it, and it has one or more rows to return and it continues on to get a false then we go ahead and then we uh, get the contact ID the name as we said before um, date of birth height gender the contact object is added to the array and we do this for n number of rows if the connection to the database fails only then we close the connection and release any resources associated with the connection object. Then the static database connection is left open to be used by the contact class. We close the database connection in the finalized statements method, which is called from the application will terminate, which um, again, that um, is in the app delegate and it gets um, executed when the user pushes the home button or uh, five seconds and it, uh, of idle time the app will terminate so that's a brief overview of retrieving the data then we're going to step through delete update and insert of this table contact 
Okay, so now we're going to talk about, um, you know, just to sum up here, we uh, we're, we sum up the discussion on returning the data, but now I want to jump right into what's going on when you delete a row um, from the UI table view. So what we're going to do here is I brought in the simulator here, and we've talked about the class um, file contact in great detail mainly around um, how we're opening the database we get the initial data and uh, the header file and where we have the uh, objects that are being returned back from the uh, table and where they're getting stored in the array from the app delegate so another and we have talked about the app delegate now let's talk about the root view controller um, this is back to the uh, MVC discussion uh, let's see here if I have yes I do have it up so the root view controller would be considered the controller and uh, the model is the database and then there's the view so again from here we select from the main page that executes the root view controller it con it goes and contacts the model returns the uh, array into the table view displays it uh, within the view so it sends an update and then it's sitting there waiting for an action like in this case we're going to talk about a swipe whoops a swipe which is the delete so from there it's going to go to the root view controller which we'll talk in more detail in the next class which again you'll see the uh, root view controller is just a table view with uh, the add contact button and then um, here we're talking about where to delete the data we first need to delete the row from the table and then delete it from the UI table view it is not necessary to do it in that order, but the data can be deleted by using the edit button or by what we did, swiping the finger and across the UI table view cell. When a row is deleted from the UI table view, the commit editing style method is called, which can be found in the root view controller. So um, again, uh, again, I'm, I'm short on time here, so I'm trying to, um, you know, do the best I can here to show you the editing style and then what happens here is they swipe it then the app delegate remove contact and it's passing the contact object which is as you can see it's passing that row here from the, con the contact array it's defined the contact object from the contact class so um, then it, pass it calls the app delegate remove contact so if we go to app delegate remove contact and I'm jumping around real quick and I do stress going back downloading this app and um, stepping through it with me and pausing the video and going from there so um, remove contact will then call the cl the method within the con contact object delete contact so you see it's removing the the contact passing the object contact class and then executing the method delete contact so and then after it does that, it removes the um, object or the uh, record from the contact array, and then we refresh contact, which refresh contact is also within the app delegate. And so what we do with refresh contact, that's going to go and get the initial data again so it can bring back in the new result set, less the row we deleted. So with, when the table view comes back, um, it... Uh, it, it, it so when I here when I delete it just refreshed the uh, the array which is now empty so again the delete worked we deleted it from the table which if I go here to contact method we can go into the delete statement and delete contact delete from contact where the ID equals and so you can see here we bind into the first variable the contact ID that's being passed in that object so again that was a real fly screaming description of what's going on with the delete so I'll go back more into it in the next class but I wanted to give you an idea of what's going on there so please go back download the app step through what I did so let's just focus on these three um, files your app delegate your contact class and your root view root view controller.